Hello and welcome to this Library and Research Skills tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to search the library's databases like a pro. I will show you a few techniques that you can apply to most database searches. These techniques will help you be more successful and efficient in finding what you need. When you need to search for scholarly articles, it helps a lot if you start by formulating your topic into a research question. This will help you stay focused. A research question is the question that you will discuss and provide an answer to in your paper. Next, you'll need to break down that question into its key concepts. Key concepts are the main themes or the main players, if you will, involved in your research question. This will help you choose the best keywords to use when searching in a database. Let's use this student's research question as an example. Do violent video games contribute to violent behavior in children and teenagers? The key concepts for this topic would be video games, violence, and teenagers or children. Even though it may seem like the right thing to do, you wouldn't include phrases such as the effects of or the influence of in your key concepts or as search terms because these terms are too specific. Remember, you want to start with only the major themes of your topic to get the best results. The next step is to think of synonyms and or related terms for your key concepts. In the thousands of relevant articles that may be out there, they may not all discuss the topic using the same vocabulary. By creating a list of synonyms or related terms, you are also creating a list of keywords you can use to find the relevant articles in a database. In some cases, there may not be any synonymous terms if a concept is only expressed by one commonly used term. That would be the case with video games in this example. Video games is really the only commonly used English term. We can, however, think of synonyms for the other terms. Violence could also be expressed as aggression. For teenagers, you could also use the word adolescence. And of course, we're also interested in the effects of video games on children, so that term needs to be included as well. The synonyms or related terms are linked by the operator OR. This tells the database to retrieve any documents that employ not only the first term you thought of, but documents that use the synonymous or related terms that might also be used to discuss the particular concept. Each key concept group of synonyms and related terms is linked to the other key concept group or groups by the operator AND. Organizing your key concepts in this way prepares you to make the most efficient search in a database. Now I will explain two techniques that you can use in most databases to ensure that you'll be retrieving all of the relevant documents for your topic. The first is called phrasal searching. When one of your terms consists of more than one word, you want to make sure that the search engine of the database finds your exact term and not each separate word in different locations. For instance, in some databases, if you enter video games, just as is, it may retrieve documents that contain the word video in one place and games in another part of the document. By putting double quotes around the term video games, you will only retrieve documents containing the two words next to one another. In other words, you'll only retrieve documents that mention video games. Another useful technique is called truncation. Truncation is when you replace the ending of a root word with a symbol. This tells the search engine to retrieve documents containing all variant forms of that root word. Most often, the symbol for truncation is an asterisk, but you can always check a database's help files under truncation to make sure you're using the correct symbol for that database. Here's an example of truncation. If we enter child with an asterisk, the database would retrieve documents containing child, as is, child's, apostrophe s, children, and childhood. Another example with adolescent with an asterisk at the end would retrieve adolescent, the noun or the adjective, adolescence, the noun in plural, adolescence with an apostrophe s, and adolescence with a CE ending. For this particular search, we can use truncation for our other terms as well. 
for the word aggression, we could make it so that it also retrieves documents that talk about aggressive behavior as well as aggression. By using truncation, you're ensuring that you'll retrieve as many relevant documents as possible, regardless of the language they use to describe the topic. First, we're going to look at a database called Sociological Abstracts by CSA. Now, we're going to enter our key concepts and their synonyms, or related terms, into the search boxes. This type of thorough search is sure to provide you with relevant articles. Let me point out something about this database. Notice that it has separated the search results by the type of document it has retrieved. As you can see, there are different tabs. They're labeled All Publication Types, Journals, Peer-Reviewed Journals. If your assignment requires that you use scholarly or peer-reviewed documents, you should only choose articles from the result under the Peer-Reviewed Journal tab. That means that all of those results are peer-reviewed articles. Most of the library's databases provide the means to limit your results to scholarly or peer-reviewed articles. In the next example, I'll show you how to do this in a different database. If you're not sure what scholarly or peer-reviewed means, watch the library's video about peer review or ask your course instructor or teaching assistant. Let's briefly look at another research question and a different database to make sure you understand how to use these techniques. This student wants to write about what causes the public to accept or oppose having a wind farm near where they live. Here's his research question. He's broken it down into the following key concepts. Wind farms and public acceptance. Again, it's important to think of the synonyms or related terms so that you can retrieve all possible relevant documents. This student realizes that wind farms could also be discussed by the terms wind power, wind energy, or wind turbines. And for a second concept, public acceptance could also be discussed under the term public opposition, public perception, or public attitudes. Here's what our complete search terms will look like. Since we're searching for our keywords anywhere in the documents, we should use the phrasal searching so that it finds terms like wind power as one term and not as two separate words. In this case, we'll only use truncation for the term public perception because it could appear in the singular or the plural form. Let's see how we would enter these in a database that uses the EBSCO search interface. We're going to look at a multidisciplinary database called Academic Search Premier. So here we go. This is what our search terms will look like in the search boxes of the database. Notice that each key concept and its synonymous terms are in one search box and each synonymous term is separated by the operator OR. Finally, I'm selecting peer-reviewed documents because those are the kinds of articles I need. These kinds of thorough searches are certain to retrieve relevant documents. The techniques I've shown you in this tutorial can be used in most databases. If you want to learn some other research skills, make sure you look at the list of video tutorials on the library's help page. If you have any questions about what was shown in this video, or you want to know about other techniques for searching databases, you can always ask a librarian. You can talk to a librarian at the reference desk of the library, or via the library's online chat, or you can email us at reference at brocku.ca. Thanks for listening, and good luck with your research.